everybody. How are you today? It's pretty early. It's pretty early. It's about 8.30. We're well on our way to the EET. I said I'd give an update on Old River and it's been roughly two weeks, a little more than two weeks since she had her accident. So we're going to see if in fact she can get her stitches out. I'm hoping, but I'm also prepared that the stitches aren't ready to come out. Because last week she had a bit of a, a blowout on her foot and she had to go back to the vet and put a few more staples in her foot. She was being a little too rambunctious, as is her way. So for those of you who don't know, I was camping with my dog and uh, she cut her paw on a piece of glass and it was pretty severe. Uh, she had to have surgery, they had to reattach the pad to her foot and there were three layers of staples, or stitches, sorry. They had to suture the pad to the foot, then there was an intermediate layer and then stitches on the outside and eventually a couple of staples. I don't know how many stitches in total, but she had a paw full, that's for sure. So we've been keeping her really quiet. She's been in the crate most of the time, which is really difficult for everybody. But she's well behaved, she's good in the crate, and she's really good about us changing dressings and she has to wear a little boot when she goes outside. She's good for that. So maybe she'll get her stitches out today. If she gets her stitches out today, there are still six weeks of healing. Another two weeks of crate rest and then a month of only being on a leash. So she's not out of the woods yet. But she's feeling really good. She feels great. She wants to get out there, but unfortunately she can't. So we're going to go to the vet. After that, as is our tradition on vet day, VET day, we go to McDonald's, I get her a little treat, and uh, I'll fill you in what the vet said. You're liking these little vlog styles. They're not always going to be in the car, but it's just pretty convenient sometimes to get in the car, turn on the camera, and have a chat. I enjoy doing them. Someone said it's like talking to a friend. I like that. So I got my coffee for the drive. Anybody have one of these stickers? That's going back a few years. The old Woods Walker stickers. I think that's the last one I had. If you have one of these, let me know. If you want one, let me know. Maybe I'll get some printed up. I never did it again because they're kind of expensive to get printed up. Maybe they're cheaper now. And for me to print them and uh, put them in the post. And then I don't know what to charge people because I can't do it for free. And pay me through PayPal and PayPal takes a good chunk of that because I have a what they call a professional account they take quite a bit of the fees so I don't know maybe I'll get some done maybe not let me know if you all be interested in some Woods Walker stickers and you know what I think I need a new logo too so maybe I'll get a new logo designed and made up by somebody who knows so on our drive, I want to thank you guys for all your support in my last few videos. They're doing pretty well. And uh, that's only because of you commenting, giving me a thumbs up, and maybe sharing them. I know some people have shared them. That's just awesome. And I've enjoyed your comments, reading them, getting your insight, your thoughts. And what's weird is just a couple days ago, Comments from like 
six years started popping up. I don't know why. Comments that I missed about six years ago, five, six years ago. So if you get a response to a comment from four or five, six years ago, that's what happened. So I answer everyone I receive. I always answer. I figure if you've taken the time to make a comment, I should take the time to answer you. So that's what I do. Thanks again. We won't be too long getting to the vet. I am running a little bit late today, but hopefully I'm going to be on time. Coffee's hitting right to this morning. So we'll see you shortly, guys. Well, welcome back, everybody. Here we are, we're at McDonald's. River gets her treat. It's an egg McMuffin. I don't know, it's just a little thing I started whenever we go to the vet. I take her to McDonald's for a little treat. Usually it's a Happy Meal, nuggets or something, maybe a small burger. But today it's gonna have to be the old Egg McMuffin. Just something I used to do with my daughter when she was young. Maybe I need a grandchild. That could be the problem. So the lady at the drive-thru was really nice to River. She tried to give her a cookie, a milk bone, and River didn't want the cookie. So she went and got her a nice piece of bacon and River got the nice piece of bacon. <laughs> so that was really nice of her. What do you say, River? Want some Egg McMuffin? Yeah, yeah. That's not a bad breakfast. I'll probably just give her the egg and the ham. Probably won't give her the muffin part. Yeah, that's good stuff. So how'd things go with the vet? Well, they went okay. She was a good girl. Unfortunately, the vet decided that we should leave the uh, stitches and the staples in for one more week at least. It's looking really good, it's healing, no infections or anything like that. But she had that blowout there last week and uh, it's best if we just leave it on for a little while longer. So that's too bad, but it wasn't all bad news. Things are looking pretty good down there for her. And I wanna say thanks very much for to everybody who has been asking about River, inquiring about how she's making out. I appreciate it. She is a part of the channel, just like you and I are part of the channel. So I do appreciate it a lot. I'm not having an Egg McMuffin today, although it looks and smells delicious. I'm watching my diet at the moment. <laughs> I need to shed a few pounds. So that's the program. I'm doing a little bit of intermittent fasting and just basically counting calories. So we'll see how that goes. It's not the easiest thing in the world to do, but sometimes you just have to buckle down and do it. Get it done. How about you guys? How's your weight? How's your health? You put a couple pounds on over the winter. A lot of crazy diets out there. Carnivore diet all these things, I'm just going to uh, watch my calorie intake, do a little more walking, a little more exercise, and hopefully things will straighten themselves out. My health is good, no problem with my blood work or anything. I just know the genes are getting a little snug, so that's the program. So I'm gonna get another video out for you guys this week. Uh, I'm thinking a knife and tool maintenance or maybe an ax collection video. You want to see my axe collection or you want to see a knife and tool maintenance video first because my knives are pretty darn clean looking aren't they even though they're used they look pretty good so i could show you the routine that i have to uh, keep them in good shape nice and sharp nice and clean and i like to keep the leather work looking well so uh, what do you want to see first axes or knife maintenance you guys let me know and i have a camping trip planned probably next week so i'll be a couple weeks before you guys see that one unfortunately river won't be able to come with me you're gonna have to put up with just old boring me but 
that's the way it goes. But that's what's happening now. That's what's happening in the future. Thanks again for stopping in. I do appreciate the time that you spend. And we'll see you soon, guys. Take care. Bye for now.